Jimmy, please say something. James? What? Who are you? Mom, I thought you told me never to talk to strangers. Like I said before, Jimmy, please be nice to your new stepfather. Okay, rich guy. I love it that you're twice as old as my grandfather and you're fat and bald. Uh. That's enough! I've had it with you, you little brat! You've upset your mother. I've got half a mind to beat you. Half a mind is right. Suddenly he realizes. I can't believe you, you little monster. We'll deal with you when we get back from our honeymoon next year. Boy, bull worth the caliber. Have fun, Jimmy. I'll think of you from our cruise ship. <laughs> Whatever. Mom, why'd you make me do this? You know, someone told me about that already. Oh, sir. Not yet. Anyway, run along now, child. Hello there, ma'am. Ah, yes. So you must be Hopkins. Uh, uh huh. What? Uh huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. Because it's my calling. It's what I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you at making you into respectable members of our community here at the Academy. I've got a good feeling about you, boy, a feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy, or I shall clean it myself. Miss Danvers, are you back yet? Yes, Headmaster, and I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. No more than you deserve, Headmaster. Take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. Certainly, Headmaster. Come along, boy. I haven't got all day. And boy, remember, you will have a clean nose. So keep it clean, or we'll clean it for you. So here I am at probably the worst school in the country whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. 
Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? Run along now, child. young man go change immediately ah oh, come on hey you're the new kid yeah what's it to you friendly aren't you give me a break loser hey relax friend you're all pent up go easy or they put you on medication they did to me boy nearly sent me insane that's fascinating now if you'll excuse me. I said me. relax, friend. Get off, man. Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country, and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me, in a place like this, you're gonna need friends. So it's up to you. You gonna play nice or what? Yeah, sure. Good. So how about I show you around? <laughs> we don't have a bar in the door. Come on, punk. So let's run. Is this kind of slapping contest? You Come lame jerk. Probably change into your stuff. uniform if you Dude, don't want to get in trouble. He killed ten kids in his old school with his bare hands. Talk about attention, hog. You think I'm scared of you? I'll show you scared, buddy. I always hated you. Close your head.
How you doing? You must be the new kid. I'm Pete. Pete Kowalski. Jimmy Hopkins, and don't ask how I'm doing. I've been here five minutes, and already people want me dead. Even my parents didn't hate me this quickly. Well, welcome to Bullworth. It's a dump. Great. I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent, because I'm really bad. Give up the tough guy act, pal. Hey, man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also life. My parents, this school, Western civilization, but really, honestly, enough about me. Oh, I see you've met the dorm's mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Femboy, the girliest boy in school. Petey, haven't you got some imaginary friends to go annoy? Why don't you leave me alone, Gary? <laughs> Look at you. Leave me alone, Gary. I'm really self-important now that I finally hit puberty. What's your problem? I'm just being nice to the new kid as he passes through Bullworth on his inevitable journey to prison. Look, I gotta unpack. Would you guys mind getting out of here? <laughs> oh, now look what you've done, Pete. Jimmy can't stand you already. Greetings, comrades. Silly like that. Don't, don't you? fight back. It'll just, just be on your hands. Can't you just talk it out? How are you? Oh, Hello. So you Come on, pants. This blood's gonna be on your hands. Hey, uh, want I some loving, baby? Down. This rule breaker this must be stopped. Do Doing well, sir? Why Looking for trouble, weakling? Who would is the worst? Oh no, not again! No need. Hey, Jimmy, let you. me show you around. This is for you. You, really you need know you're silly like that, don't you? That's Russell's locker. You know, the big ape who almost put you in the hospital. Enough talk! Now I smashed you! Please, you don't want to do this. Your money, all of it! Come on, give me a break. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> you don't know what pain is! This just enough not to smash you. Come on, let's break into it and steal something. That'll teach him. Let the prefects see you break any rules, what they'll you hurt you. Have, hey, fight fair. You are least my barbarian race. Well done. You just made a serious mistake. Jimmy, or I'll make your life hell. Leave me alone, jerk. You got problems. Oh, oh no. man. There's that weird chick, Eunice. Let's have some fun with her. Go. See what she wants. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hey, hey. <laughs> he took my chocolate. Please get it back. 
careful, idiot. Sorry. Unstable molecule. I wish I was more sent to die. Hey, tofu breath. You still gonna say that after I kick your ass? I want to eat whips for breakfast. You want to scrap? Whoa, take this stupid chocolate. You fight like my mom. Why did you do that? I hate you. What's new? Hey, oh, crap. This. Don't bother with me. Hey. Feeding time at the zoo. Okay, here's the deal. Over there, we got the nerds. Of course, they're complete social outcasts. They look pretty harmless. They're actually sneaky bastards. Their turf is the library. And those are the preps. They're all money and condescending attitudes. Yeah, massively inbred and completely brainless. Very observant, Jimmy boy. Now, over there are the greasers. They think they're tough. Or at least try to look tough. Wouldn't advise messing with them, at least not yet. They hang by the auto shop. And last but not least, the jocks. These guys rule the school. Definitely avoid them. Whatever, I'm not afraid of some dumb roid monkeys. You'll learn. Come on, let's go.